Hello pilots and welcome to another English video. Yes, you hear right. Uh, I got some complaints in my main release of the Talent 250G review that I should make more English reviews or English videos so everybody can, can understand. And I decided because uh, subtitles are a hell of work that I will just narrate my video and re-upload in, uh, in this form. So yeah, this is my review of the Talon 250G, uh, the new plane from ZOHD that should be capable to fly below 200, the 250 gram mark that is needed in some countries to avoid licensing or registration. And uh, the first flight will be on a 1600 mAh um, LiPo with a very simple all-in-one uh, FPV camera in the front and also just an X8R receiver for control. No flight controller yet, but let's go to the bench and look at it at detail. So the front is covered by this little magnetic hatch. Um, if you open it, you see the battery compartment with the 1600 mAh LiPo. And these two magnets do hold very close, so you can even lift the whole plane on it uh, without losing it. So I think no danger to lose it in flight at any time. This little screw holds down the ring and if you remove it you get access to the electronics compartment and here you can also see the X8R receiver and a lot of room in there so you can move the flight controller for example forward down under the um, wing holding plate. The servos for the VTA are in the back with long push rods uh, guided through the fuselage so they are hidden inside and don't mess with the CG. And the motor in the back is the known uh, Sunny Sky 1406 2600 kV motor that is also used on the DAR 250G and the ZOHD Drift. Here in the ring you see the two servos, also the same plastic gear servos and the air inlets here at the front. They are not perfectly molded so maybe you have to cut away some uh, little edges that are left from the mold molding process but beside that everything is fine and this is the wing mounting plate that's three millimeter thick plywood and holds down the ring and should be strong enough to not, not break in any crash. The ring servos are tied together to a single um, plug connector so you don't need a separate Y cable and the cables are routed through this little plywood uh, part in the middle that helps strengthening the cable so you don't rip them out of the uh, ring ex by accident when you remove it and that's basically all we can say over uh, about the plane setup right now so let's attach the ring and go fly. Here you can see my first launch and uh, immediately after takeoff I realized that something is not right and the thing that was not right is it is tail heavy. So the 1600 uh, mAh 2S LiPo was a little bit too light and when I pulled up in a turn then it stalled and crashed into the ground. Luckily no big deal, no rear damage, um, the nose is totally fine. Uh, although the impact was pretty harsh and um, I just saw that uh, below the wing on the wing mounting plate, the plywood plate, there's just one glue joint on the left side of the fuselage that is broken so only the glue, uh, the glue came loose but nothing is broken. That's a very easy fix and even with the uh, broken off glue I was able to fly again and do a proper maiden. So what I did is I replaced the LiPo battery with the 2S lithium ion 3500 milliamp hours. So uh, this one is a little bit heavier, just a few grams and I can push it forward. And also it's shorter so the center of mass of the battery itself is also more to the front now. And I was able to balance it perfectly on the CG and it gets ready for another maiden try. And this time everything went well. Very easy launch. Um, I had just half or maybe one millimeter up trim in the elevons, in the Vitae elevons. And as you can see, it flies perfectly fine now. Everything is good. I can make tight turns and also uh, 
yeah, some acrobatics if I want to. But first of all, I flew line of sight. Unfortunately, uh, as you can see, the DJI Mini 2 drone was sometimes heavily uh, pushing into my FPV feed. So the video recording was even worse than in the goggles. But then I, I realized that too late. So I had to live or we have to live with the flickering FPV feed now. About the flight characteristics, um, as I mentioned before, the launch is really easy and the flight behavior is very gentle, very smooth. And I was really surprised. We had winds of about 20 to 30 kilometers per hour and uh, the plane had no problem with that. So even in that area, I mentioned in, the, uh, in one of my last videos, uh, there's the problem that uh, all the buildings around that park and also the, all, all the trees causing a lot of air turbulences and air currents that make flights really really shaky but as you can see it's bouncing around a little bit at some areas low to the ground uh, it's the same but it's much more stable uh, compared to the Dart 250G or the uh, ZOHD Drift so I would say it's no problem to fly this one in some gentle wind as I said up to 20 or 30 kilometers per hour but of course, with these small planes, the most fun you still have with no wind at all. Even with pretty quick maneuvers like a looping or tight turns, I see no tendency to stall. Um, just follow the procedure of the uh, manual. You can download on the ZOHD web page about the throws. On the L uh, ailerons, I had to limit the throw a little bit. It looked a, li a bit too much to me. Uh, and it was still totally fine. It's very agile and can even do very uh, quick rolls. And here you see a little low pass. And here you also see how fast it is on the roll axis if you, um, if you add some speed to it. Later in that flight, I also did a stall test and uh, the video quality was so bad. So I will just narrate it right now. Um, what happens is it tries to drop the nose. The CG, as you could see in the beginning of this uh, flight, was on spot and the plane just tries to dip the nose. But I pushed hardly back, all the way back, so ke to keep it level. And uh, it was kind of controllable for a while, but uh, then suddenly it rolled over one ring. Did a f one single full spin until I was able to recover it but that was not too harmful. So as long as you don't force a really strong uh, stall, I see no problem here. There's one important thing you should be aware of though. Um, it seems to have the same or at least similar problem as the ZOHD Drift has. Uh, if you are very fast, like you go into a steep dive with full throttle applied, and you pass a certain speed range, then uh, you will likely lose control of the plane and um, yeah, it will just start to roll on one axis suddenly. And you can recover, just cut the throttle and uh, con yeah, push against the roll to catch it. But um, I'm not sure right now where that comes from. Either the uh, ailerons are flexing because the control horns are at one and on the inside, so the other end is flexing. Maybe the whole wing is flexing. Maybe it's the flimsy V-tail. Um, I'm not sure about that yet. I have contacted ZOHD because of that, because in this menu there is no speed limitation mentioned. So yeah, we will see what the answer and I will for sure cover that in another video. And then also try different things to avoid that. But as long as you don't do a full throttle dive, I see no issue, so when I glide, I can go nearly vertical down without any problem. Yeah, here we come to my final thoughts about it. Um, flying the Talon 250G was a lot of fun, so I have not seen major issues bes beside that uh, spin thing at very high speeds. Stall tendency is really easy. Uh, it's light rake, it's quiet. That's really important, especially when you fly in uh, that kind of park so you don't annoy other people. The 1600 milliamp hour battery here was too light. 
or the CG was just too far back because it's longer. So with the lithium ion pack, it was much easier. But I think if people build it up with a bigger FPV camera in the nose, or maybe even with an HD camera, like split uh, split cams, then the CG should be no issue anymore, even with a lipo. But you should not go lighter than around 100, maybe 90 grams. It also depends on what flight controller you will install. Maybe you want to put the VTX also on the front hatch and uh, keep the weight into the nose. Uh, overall, this flight setup was 246 grams with the lithium ion battery. So it is possible to fly it on lithium ion um, under the 250G mark. But uh, of course, this was without a flight controller in this case. Um, yeah, as I mentioned before, with the uh, spin topic, the um, V-tail is really flimsy, so there is no carbon reinforcement in the uh, V-tail itself, only in the control surfaces. But it's still very flexible, so maybe this is one of the reasons why it starts to uh, roll. Uh, the rings are also not as stiff as on other planes, because it has no fixed carbon spar in there but um, just a little or well, a thin carbon strip, a flat carbon strip that's put in vertical. So it is for sure not a high speed plane. Without special reinforcement, you should not go past, I would guess, 100 kilometers per hour. We will see that when I finish the uh, INAV setup and can actually measure the speed range. The question is, can I recommend that plane? For people that need to stay within the 250 gram limit, yes, I think I can. For people liking to fly in parks like this one, yes, of course, this is a really, really nice plane to fly in tight areas. Uh, I think definitely better than the Z uh, ZOHD 250G, that's much faster. And, um, can I recommend it to long rangers? Yes, sure. I mean, it has enough battery space to put in two, uh, two S, two P pack, or even a four S pack if you replace the motor. So uh, you have tons of space for lithium ion batteries in the nose, and you can still hit the CG if you just move them a little bit back. So it can do a lot. But um, yeah, if you want to really rip around flying fast with a high power setup, I would not recommend it at all. Uh, so you should keep it slow and gentle just to stay stable. I hope you liked that English version of the review. Um, doing a full video in English is just too much work and adding subtitles in English uh, would take me a full day just of typing. So I hope you understand that. Um, maybe I will do that in the future again and just re-upload it in a separate version. So, thanks for watching and till the next video.